Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Today we have an interesting equation. We have x to the power x equal to x and we need to find our x. How can you solve it? We can start with logarithm, but I want to show you a really good approach how to solve it. Take a look. We can divide both sides by... Let's divide both sides by x. So let's divide both sides by x and moreover x is not equal to 0. So let's divide both sides by x. What we'll have? x to the power x denominator and denominator our x. And on the right we'll have x divided by x, it will be equal to 1. So we just divide in both sides by this x. What are we going to do next? Take a look, we have our x. I write 1 right here, because this is x to the first power. We can bring this x to our denominator, and as a result we need to put minus in our power. So nothing changed, we need to put this x to the first power in our denominator. What we'll have? We will have that x to the power x this one and times x to the power minus 1 equal to 1. Just bring this from denominator to our denominator and put minus right here. What we're going to do next? Take a look, we have same basis and different different powers. We need to know the rule. If we have a to the power x times a to the power b, we can write it as a to the power x plus b. So if we have same basis, but different exponent, different power, we can write it using one base and we need to add our exponent, our power. So let's use this rule right here. As a result, what we will have? We will have x to the power x minus 1 equal to 1. And this is our equation after these simplifying steps. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We have x on the left. We have the power, but right here we have 1. 1 is a really good number to express our x, because we can write this 1 as x to the 0 power. This will be the same. And if we write our left side, x to the power x minus 1, we will have our equation x to the power x minus 1 equal to x to the 0 power. I write this equation once more, x to the power x minus 1 equal to x to the 0 power. So, what are we going to do next? Take a look. We have the same basis, and we need to write an equation with our exponent. So, x minus 1 equal to 0. From here, x minus 1 equal to 0, and our x equal to 1. So, this will be our, will be our answer. So, and it's not hard to see that I write our equation once more, x to the power x equal to x. We have our answer, x equal to 1. And as you can see, we can prove this answer because we will have 1 to the power 1 equal to 1, which is correct, and our answer is, our root is good. But moreover, x equal to minus 1, so x second equal to minus 1, will be root as well. Take a look, what we'll have if we plug in minus 1. If we plug in minus 1, we'll have minus 1 to the power minus 1 equal to minus 1. Let's, che let's check this equation, let's check this. this, let's find this. We have minus in our denominator. If we bring this minus 1 to our denominator, we will have plus equal to minus 1. Will this correct or not? Take a look. This to the power 1 with nothing change, we will have 1 divided by minus 1. It will be minus 1 equal to minus 1, which is correct. So our answer will be two roots, we will have two roots, answer x first equal to 1 and x second equal to minus 1. We will have two roots. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.